if I could really talk to somebody and say, what were you thinking? I'd say, why did you do the tests? Why in the world did you give evidence against yourself? You have the right to remain silent. Exercise the right. My advice to you is if you get stopped by the police officer is to give no evidence against yourself whatsoever. The only thing I'd say is, officer, I'd like to have my attorney present. He's going to tell you you're not entitled to an attorney? Fine. Officer, I'd like him to be present. That way, the only evidence they have going forward is that they smelled alcoholic beverage on your breath. That's it. They don't have you walking the line, which is a made-up test. They don't have you standing on one leg. Who stands on one leg and counts 30 seconds? They don't have a blood test or a breath test that isn't accurate in the first place. They don't have any of that evidence against you. All they have is that they smelled alcoholic beverage on your breath. And of course they did. You'd come from a bar. So now you've gotten out of jail and you call me and I ask you, what kind of test did you perform or did you provide a breath sample or a blood sample? And you say no. And I'm going to reach out and give you a great big high five because you're the perfect client. Anybody can be stopped and they can suspect you for DWI. I've been stopped and arrested and I don't drink at all. The officer pulled me over for doing 71 miles an hour in a 70 and immediately went into a DWI stop and he said, how much did you have to drink? And I said, officer, I don't drink at all, period. And he immediately wanted to do the test. So I know that if it's happened to me, it can happen to you.